Hello all, this is Luke from Australian Survival School. Today we're heading up to Peachtree's campground. Uh, I've got my daughter in the car. We're going to spend the weekend away doing a little bushcraft survivalist weekend with a lot of other guys. Um, we're just cruising into Kilcoy as we speak. Just past the abattoir. And we're going to do a little pit stop, stretch our legs and make our way up to the range to Jimna. A uh, great little spot up there. Take the family quite often up there for family camping. So we'll see how many people, you know, bushcrafters and survivalists. It's supposed to be a small handful of people, but you never know. A few people may uh, pull out at last minute. So we'll see who comes, I guess. And yeah, gonna be doing a little video that you'll see on, you know, after this as well, of, you know, what really happens, I guess, it's gonna be at Jimna. And we had a set of plans, you know, I was gonna do a bush tucker workshop and some net making and bits and pieces, but we'll see what happens, see what the numbers are. And yeah, have a bit of fun, I guess. As you can probably see through the window, we're actually coming through Kilcoy right now. Down that road to my left is the big old Yowie statue of Fred. Fred the Yowie. And yeah, Jimna. Jimna is actually quite known within certain circles for Yowie activity. You know, the Yowie statue was set up many years ago because a bunch of teenagers apparently shot a Yowie down along Sandy Creek. Uh, they found a whole heap of blood, but they found no body. And pretty much the whole town went out to see what all these kids were, you know, talking about. Found, you know, blood, trail, rocks, you know. Mm. But, no Yowie. But yeah, I know a few friends that come up this way who research into a lot of the Yowie type of stuff and they get a lot of good stuff up here you know I've never seen any Yowies around here but you never know I have heard a couple weird yells and screams that you know sound very different to a lot of you know animals that I've ever heard and going back last year Dingoes were going eight crazy. You know, they're all, you know communicating to each other. And this thing probably, I know, somewhere deep in the reserve, national park, let this massive scream go and the dingoes just went quiet. It was gruntle, gruntle, you know, it was loud, it was like the hairs on my body stood up. And maybe that was the owie. Um so yeah. I'll probably talk to you as soon as we get to Jimna.